My name is James, and today we're going to set up UPS shipping quotes with an UberCard store. You're going to need a properly configured UberCard installation. Um, on my blog, freelance-developer.ca, I have instructions on how to do this in part one and two of this UberCard tutorial series. If you don't need help setting up an UberCard store, you can proceed with me right now. We're starting with our online store demo that we created in parts one and two of the UberCart tutorial series. So if you haven't created that yet, go check out parts one and two for the groundwork. Right now we're just going to go to ups.com and create a login. So if you click on my UPS and register at the bottom left. we'll need to create an account here. So enter your name, the user ID you want to use, your email, and your password. So the reason we're going through all of this is we need to get um, a developer API key from UPS uh, to actually use the UPS quoting system. So this is just the user account that you'll be using with UPS. All right, so for contact information, you'll want to put in um, your information here and check if you're uh, using it for personal reasons or business at the top. Choose your country, your address. I'm just making stuff up here. Your city, your state or province, and your zip code. And then put your telephone number in there. So you want to scroll down to the bottom of their agreement so that you can actually click that you agree, click next. Uh, whoops, we forgot something here. Oh yeah, you gotta tell them you don't want them to send you emails or else they're gonna spam you with all their promotions. Uh, okay, I picked a fake address so they're mad, so they just suggested one, I'll just use that alternate. This shouldn't happen if you enter a correct address Okay, there you go. Now I'm registered. I've got a username and password. So if I go to my UPS, um, you know, here it is. This is uh, my login for UPS. So now we need to request our developer API key. So if you go to www.ups.com slash UPS developer kit, it will give you the steps that you need to get started with getting that um, access key for the API. So first click login from that page, enter your EPS ID and your password, and now that you're logged in you can click request an access key. So you're gonna have to attach a UPS account to this. Um, you can go through the process of creating a UPS account from that link below at the bottom and you need to enter your shipping needs, billing and location, verify and then complete. I'm not going to go through all that now but feel free to do that later or if you already have a UPS account you can simply click add UPS account. I'm just going to make one up here. Um, enter the account number at the top, the name that you'd like to describe it and then your postal code and the country that you're located in and click next. So that's the UPS account number that you got when you created a UPS so now that you've added your account to your login there, it should send you an API key. Um, log in with your administrative account in the demo store and click administer and click uh, modules. So now we just need to enable the shipping quote modules um, and the UPS module. So if you go down to Ubercart shipping quotes and enable that and then enable the UPS module. Click Save Configuration. Okay, good. So now if we go to Administer Store Administration again, click Configuration, and scroll to the bottom and go to Shipping Quote Settings. You want to go to Quote Methods at the top right and enable the UPS shipping method um, and you can select small packages there and then click save configuration. Now go to the UPS tab of quote methods, enter your online tools XML access key, it's a UPS API key they sent you in your email after requesting it, um, 
enter your UPS shipper number. That's the shipping number you created or added to your account. Uh, enter your UPS username, password, and select uh, UPS standard as your shipping type. You can choose whichever shipping type you like. That's just an example. Um, change all these settings to your liking there. It doesn't really matter. Click Save Configurations and click Quote Settings. At the bottom here, we're going to add a default pickup address. This is uh, where they'll calculate um, where your products are being delivered from. So I'm entering my fish hats company, um, what, 123 My Street. Just, I'm making stuff up here, but you'll want to enter actually where you're shipping your products from right here. And there we go. So save the configuration. All right, we've set up the shipping quotes. Now click on the Silly Hats catalog and add one of the hats to your cart and try checking out. We can test this out now to see the shipping um, quotes in action. So just enter your delivery information here, whatever street you like. And then check uh, your billing information is the same as your shipping. You can click calculate the shipping quote and there it shows it right up there. And you can check at the bottom here, it also shows up there, uh, UPS standard, 37 bucks to ship it from Seattle to Kamloops. You can submit the order. And you can pay for it because we set this up uh, in part two. So there you go, shipping quotes are working and it includes the cost of shipping in your total. So now your store should be set up to quote users on uh, shipping quotes from UPS um, on the cost it's going to cost from shipping products from your store to their location. And uh, this is the end of the three-part series for the Ubercart tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Now you should have an Ubercart store set up with uh, you know, image support as well as a few products, a catalog, supporting um, payment through PayPal as well as shipping quotes to UPS and you know that's all you really need for a store now you can you know theme it up go find a theme for your Drupal uh, installation and make it yours uh, we'll get into some other things later if anyone has any requests for tutorials um, with Ubercart visit my blog at freelancedrupaldeveloper.ca and comment on this video thanks